your benefits through that God is good. May your whole life through that God is good.
Deaconess Vivian Beenham, Arvion, and Brother Marcus Harper, and the entire Beenham family. We come this morning, O oh Heavenly Father, not for shame, fashion, or form, but we come with our heads bowed in humble submission right now. Lord, we come to celebrate the life of a man that made a difference. He made a difference in his home. He made a difference in his church. He made a difference in his community. Lord, uh, he was a man that stood tall amongst men. And we thank you, Lord, for a life well lived. We thank you, Lord, for giving us Deacon Arthur Allen Beatham. Oh, bless and praise your name this morning, oh, Heavenly Father, from whom all blessings flow. We thank you, Lord, for giving us a life that was well lived and well represented in the person of Deacon Arthur Allen. We thank you for his family and for the loved ones and for all of the friends who have gathered this morning in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Lord, we, we thank you for all that you have done in this life. For he has gone on from labor to reward right now, and it is in your name that we stand this morning to celebrate a man, a man that made a difference. So it is in your mighty and matchless name this morning, Jesus, that we cry out this morning, Lord, a God of comfort, God of mercy. God of peace. Blessed are all of those who mourn for they shall be comforted. Matthew 5 and 4. So Lord, we thank you, we bless you, and we praise your most holy and righteous name in this memorial service right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we, we, we come to mourn, but we come to celebrate. We come to praise. We come to lift up the name of Jesus. We come to Give this family some support right now in your mighty and matchless name, Jesus. We pray this prayer of faith, standing on your word and standing on your promise that in the day of trouble, if we would just call on you, you would be faithful and just to answer. We call on you this morning because mercy suits our case. So it is in your name and your name only, Jesus. We, we lift you up this morning. We glorify you and we magnify you in the name of Deacon Arthur Allen Beatle. Please, in Jesus' name, receive this prayer. Receive this man in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen again. Sister Vivian and this beautiful family that we love to love. I thought it'd be worthwhile to repeat that Psalm 121 that you heard. Because it tells us that he will keep us. He will preserve us until eternity. So listen at those words that have so much assurance for us. Says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from which cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee, he won't slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is the shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Listen to this. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, even coronavirus. He shall preserve thy soul. 
the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in. From this time, from this time forth, hallelujah, and forevermore. Amen. Praise God. On behalf of myself and my lovely wife, Naomi, Sister Vivian, to the extended family, you have our deepest sympathy. Naomi wants to let me know, let you know, Sister Vivian, that whenever you're ready for her to cook, on your command, she's ready, all right? Uh, scripture reading on this day comes from that comforting scripture from Revelations 21 verses 1 through 4 and it reads and I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there were no more sea and I saw John the holy city new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death no more sorrow, no more crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he sat upon the throne and said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said unto me, It is done. I am Alpha, and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and hearing of this New Testament reading. Amen. Be told. 